Hi everyone, this is Dirk. Thanks so much for tuning in. Do you know the feeling you see something and you must have it? This is how I felt when I saw the TT Artisan 40mm f2.8 macro lens. I thought it's a TT Artisan and for only a hundred bucks, what can go wrong, right? So here it is and we're going to take a look, see how it performs and how usable it is. You know me, I love the TT Artisan manufacturer seal on the box. The front protection cap is a metal screw-on. For its small size, the lens is pretty heavy. It's well built and it's made of metal. The aperture ring is at the back of the lens and makes a clicking sound when you're changing aperture. The focus ring sits in the center of the lens. It has a very long travel distance, especially when you want to reach the magnification. It has a strong resistance and for my taste it is a bit too stiff. Now let's take a look at sharpness in the center and the corners. Already at f2.8 we have a good center sharpness. The corners are a bit soft. Center sharpness is at its best at f4. For the best results in the corners we need to stop it down to f8. Using a tripod you can get really close and you can see details that are unbelievable. The minimum focusing distance is close to nothing. You can not only see the texture of the banknote, you can actually see fibers sticking out of the bill. And yes, this is the very banknote that I'm using to test the center sharpness. The pincushion distortion is really minor and all the vignetting is gone after f4. As long as your camera is stabilized, you will get great results. But even so, focusing is a bit challenging. Trying to take macro photos with the camera handheld using the focus ring is close to impossible. I mentioned before that the focus ring is way too stiff and it takes only a tiny movement to get your subject out of focus. And the only way to focus is by not using the focus ring. You actually have to extend it out as much as you can and then you have to move back and forth with the camera until you have your subject in focus. Using this method it took me a couple of shots until I had a sharp image. All my attempts using the focus ring for handheld macro photography failed. So I had no other choice than using this method going back and forth with the camera to find the perfect distance to my subject to get things in focus. It's, it's like photography with a cell phone, not really exciting. I'm not saying you can't create amazing images. It's just a different way to accomplish those and for me this is not very satisfying photography. If you can afford to spend an extra $100, then I would recommend to purchase the Pergia 60mm f2.8 macro instead. Here I'm testing the TT Artisan 40mm f2.8 as a portrait lens and I have to say, focusing was easy and also the result is okay. The TT Artisan 40mm f2.8 macro. Is this a lens you own or would you buy it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you like this video, leave a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching this and tune in soon again. Bye for now.